My people, this one is good news. Oh, I bring you good news this time around. If what we are hearing is the truth. From what we are hearing, no, oh, allegedly they said only of your first family have officially invited Queen Naomi's family to come and witness the final ritual for her return to the palace. If this information is true, it simply means that there is hope by the said June that we all have been waiting for. And I believe that uh, God will do something this time because <laughs> when I hear that uh, they have been disturbing them, I want to be with my daddy, I want mommy and daddy to stay together and all of that, I know that uh, KBAC will do something. Anyway, let's just hope and pray that it is true. Okay, guys, they said the reason why it looks as if these people have delayed, you know, in doing this was because there is so much fight. Whether you believe it or not, they said a lot of people are fighting for Naomi's return. Maybe because they believe that her prayers is a very big problem for them. And another reason it, it, it takes time was because they said the way she left the palace and with what she went to... Uh, her Instagram handle to write about the KBAC that that is why it is delaying because there have been so much fights some group of people are saying that no she cannot enter the palace she insulted KBAC she insulted the throne and all of that so a lot of people have been arguing on it and there have been a lot of fights KBAC who have understand that uh, Queen Naomi did not do that with her normal eyes that they manipulated her into doing that and as a matter of fact they wanted her to do something more bad more as in worse worse than what she did so that they will use it against her and push her out completely but i believe that the god that brought her to that palace will not allow their evil uh, acts against her to work and that was why it ended the way it ended they said ever since then kbsc after finding out that she did not do that with her right uh, senses KBAC have been fighting and many elders have been uh, working against it. And they said there are certain rituals that must be done as a must before she will return back due to the way she left, you know. So, and that has been the problem because they say it is not what KBAC and her family, I mean her father and uh, brothers can do alone. That had it been, it is something that they can do alone, that they would have done it long ago because they all know how important Queen Naomi is to their family, if not for everything, if not for any other thing, for the sake of Prince Tade Nikawo. You know, because Prince Tade is, uh, will I say, answered prayer to KBAC. Yes. When they wanted to fight his throne because he doesn't have a son, the gods decided to give him Tadenikawo from Queen Naomi. So if not for any other thing, for the sake of Tadenikawo, and from what we heard, they said many of their gods, because they believe in their gods, they are very much angry that Tade is outside, outside the palace, while other people's children who does not belong to the palace are living inside the palace, you know? So I believe if it is something they can do on their own, they would have done it long ago. Forget the fact that a lot of people believe it is uh, this, uh, Olori, this Olori that, mm, in as much as Olori, on the, Olori is on the other side, uh, contributed to their own because Queen Naomi said she's not returning back with the Oloris inside the palace. But they are not the major thing because if they are the main thing here, KBSC would have taken care of them. From what we are hearing but they said the main problem here is these elders who are fighting queen naomi's return and some of these elders are fighting her because uh her prayers are destroying their evil midnight meetings you know why others are fighting her because they know that when she is with a uh, kbsc that their plans against kbsc might not work because she used to see things before they happen. Don't forget that she is a prophetess, you know. So there are many reasons why these elders have been fighting to Tanil to ensure that she did not return. And mind you, they say most of some of these elders are the elders who worked with the Oloris uh, and the even this uh, anti Calabash, Olori Calabash, them to push her out of the palace. And they used Olori Kalabash greatly 
in making sure that they push her out of the palace. And that is why it looks as if Kwinomi can relate with every other Olori there. Listen to them when they come to plead, pray for them and all of that. But whenever it comes from uh, Olori Kalabash, they say Kwinomi, no, they even give her she couldn't space because of what she experienced while they were living together in that palace. So these elders are the men, they are the end thing, but from the look of things, they said they are now coming down, as in they have, KBSC is, uh, was able to win them in all ramification, and that is why they have come down to his terms to come and do the rituals that they need to do for Queen Naomi to return back to the palace. So if this information that we are hearing is true, if all of this that we have been told are, is true, you know, that simply means that uh, Kabiesi's promise to Prince Tadenikawo, he will be able to fulfill it because we heard that when Kwinomi took uh, Tade to the palace to go and deliver Kabiesi's meal, that after staying with his father, the young boy decided that she is not, he is not going back to Akure, that he wants to stay with daddy in the palace you know they said they dragged it they pleaded with him to please go with mommy at some point they said the father have to promise him that it is not going to take longer than they expected that they are going to come back to the palace and he will be playing with daddy every time and daddy will go to school and pick him one <laughs> because they say he was complaining that uh, daddy don't come to the school to pick him and all of that so if this information is true it simply means that KBSC uh, will soon fulfill his promise to that day because we heard allegedly that he made that promise to him. Anyway, it is indeed a good news. I don't, uh, although a lot of people might not like it, some people like uh, anti blue blooded them, Olori Ebira them, as the as in both Olori Kalabash, Olori TikTok them. Uh, 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 is it the Jebu princess? Them they will not like it, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. What matters is that KBAC and Kwenomi is happy. What matters is that there is this, there, there is this uh, understanding between the two families, and they were able to know that every marriage has its ups and downs, you know. So, just like uh, in every home, there is always uh there is sometimes sometimes experience things like this but their own is not out there because they are not celebrities but kbs is a big time celebrity and kwenomi too is a big time celeb <laughs> so that is why it looks as if their case is always on our lips anyway guys thanks for watching always remember that these are all alleged information please subscribe to my channel if you are yet to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and share my video. Don't forget that I love you for your support. Thank you so much. My God will bless and support you. Bye. Love you guys.